back of the house now. Last week they uh, wrapped the front of the house, and this week they'll be wrapping the back of the house. There's a lot of details here. It'll take another, probably another three days to finish up the back of the house. And in the front, right now they're unloading drywall through that window upstairs in the master bedroom. They have a uh, forklift lifting up there and there's been inside unloading it. And Jeff and his helper are going around and finishing up um, the wiring for the speaker wire, security, um, the uh, sending units for the garage door openers, all the things that have to go inside the wall before they put the um, um, insulation and drywall on. The uh, drywall will start going on next week. Well, it's Wednesday morning, and let's take a walk around, see what's going on. Looks like the uh, um, suckle guys are here nailing on the uh, chicken wire, and they're still busy wrapping in the back part of the house. And Jeff and Chet have been uh, doing what they call pickup work, and um, that's all the work that has to be done inside the walls before. Uh, hello, Jeff. Hello, Chet. Chet, welcome to my video. <laughs> Chet is actually the tile guy, but right now he's helping Jeff with the pickup work. Give him a little variety. And um, these doors came in the other day, and they pre-hung them. They were pre-hung doors, but they hung the pre-hung doors. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And they did that so that um, the stucco guys would have something to stucco up against. They drywall the other day, and they have these... Uh, Braces are called dead men to because uh, the drywall is really heavy and we don't want the ceiling to come crashing down. And um, let's see. And Jet uh, and Chet um, wired some of these uh, sensors for the uh, garage door openers. I think that's pretty much all that's going on in the garage. Looks like they're doing stuff around the door. What is this stuff they're putting on there? Stuff was called no door. Uh huh. Keep that out for five eighths, so your drywall will flush right off of the street. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a nice. So the door jams are all going to be stuccoed in yes. these garage doors. Nice. Less wood. Yeah, no wood, no maintenance. I like that. Okay. Well, this wall's been moved forward, so we have a nice big closet off the uh, game room. Here's some more of those dead men because they loaded a lot of drywall upstairs. And there's one here in the bedroom too. And um, Chet was uh, installing the speaker wires yesterday. That's a wire along the, uh, the bottom of the uh, floor joist. And that pounding is the uh, stucco people upstairs pounding the uh, chicken wire on. Well, they got a lot of this metal up here. This is the stuff that goes in the ceiling. I don't know what it's called. With the ceiling of these two, um, these two decks. And here's a water closet here for your fresh water coming out of the sewer line. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it's about 5.30 Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. The guys are still working here. They're Preparing for the stucco work. A lot of scaffolding up here. You know, Jeff made this door a little wider here in case we have to put anything real wide inside. It was 36 inches, and I'm not sure what he widened it to, but it's wider now. I decided at the last minute to go ahead and go with the uh, central vacuum cleaner. So they're putting these uh, PVC pipes in, in inside the walls before the drywall goes on. The drywall is scheduled to go on Wednesday and we're using 5 8 inch drywall throughout. There's a stack of it. And it's stacked all over the place. It's the end of week 20 now. And everything that's going inside the walls is in because next week they're going to be putting the drywall on. 
Monday and Tuesday they put the insulation in, and Wednesday they're going to start on the drywall. And about the only difference on the outside that you can see is the uh, that window has been installed now.